Child, this is getting deep. I'm sorry, Kim Boo Boo. So, baby, while y'all looking at pictures of who at the party, and that is why the mama make them um, tithe, not y'all tithing. Judgment is here, y'all. Um, two, 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, come to find out, this person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. These are dangerous days to be a celebrity in Hollywood, and it seems like Kim Kardashian will be next on the chopping block. Surprisingly, we don't have new boyfriend rumors or a new plastic surgery allegation to talk about. Instead, the Kardashian has landed herself in something way more sinister this time. Turns out that she has a connection with Diddy of all people and has been helping him get away with his crimes over the years. And if you find that hard to believe, there is a Lou Taylor connection that's simply too good to ignore. Just what happened? Who is Lou Taylor? And are Diddy and Kim really involved? What we are getting ready to see in the upcoming weeks and months. Good night, Hollywood! Turn the lights out! Welcome back to Celebrity Buzz, where we will be talking about how Kim and Diddy's shady secrets were exposed with the Lou Taylor link unveiled. But before we give you the deets, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. I got some tea. I ain't never been this nosy and did this much digging. But let me tell y'all why um, Kim Kardashian basically stopped following Diddy. Recently, Diddy had his home raided. Homeland Security gave the record executive a surprise visit at his home in L.A. and Miami. One HSI spokesman said, Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. Authorities ended up seizing multiple weapons and hours of footage which could essentially help them crack open the case, and if you're wondering what case, well, Diddy's being investigated for a human trafficking case. What's more, his sons were spotted in handcuffs outside the properties. But it's not yet clear what the chargers were. Regardless, from all angles, it looks like Diddy is in some deep waters. A lot of folks believe that the day of his arrest is not far away. Interestingly, Diddy was nowhere to be seen while authorities raided his house and his sons stood in handcuffs. Turns out that he was safely enjoying an airplane ride. On that note, Diddy has been claiming his innocence in the face of the new allegations. Meanwhile, his victims couldn't be happier. Douglas Wigder, a lawyer for Cassie Ventura and another, unnamed plaintiff said, We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. No one could have predicted that things would turn out this way, except maybe one person, and that person is Kim Kardashian. You see, a day before the raid, Kim unfollowed Diddy on Instagram, and to some folks it looks like a calculated move. And that's not all. Apparently, a video of Kris Jenner at Diddy's house was also revealed. So apparently, um, there is allegedly a secret video footage that has released um, of Kris Jenner and Diddy's house. I don't know too much about that. That's all I know. However, the real center of attention is the Lou Taylor connection. Who is this person? Well, based on several reports, this person is Diddy's manager who's actually in charge of Diddy's secret church slush fund. Lou Taylor is the CEO of TriStar Sports and Entertainment. Um, she's like a business manager icon. She's also on the board of Hillsong's Church Board, on top of being the CEO of TriStar Sports and Entertainment. And here's the most interesting bit. Apparently, this person has been paying off Diddy's victims over the years to keep them quiet. And that's not all. Kim and her girls have apparently been making payments to this slush fund. Why would they do that? Maybe to earn his favor. Who knows? And just when you thought it couldn't get any fishier, it just did. Apparently, this person has been responsible for some of the most famous conservatorship situations, including Britney Spears and Lindsay Lohan. Safe to say, she's not well-liked in the industry. But at the same time, she looks like someone who gets the job done no matter what, making her a favorite with people like Diddy. Mike Lohan accused Lou Taylor and Dina Lohan of trying to put Lindsay Lohan in a conservatorship situation. There's also a lawsuit from 2021 concerning the Astro World tragedy for employment discrimination against Taylor. 
She also apparently sought control over Spear's life and money. In fact, in the end, Taylor kinda succeeded in her mission since she ended up taking control of Britney Spears' financial situation. However, if you remember, the Britney Spears Foundation was launched in 2021 and it was closed out with the remaining funds being donated to a Christian residential program that Lou and her husband used to work with. From all angles, it looks like Taylor knows how to play the game. She has to have some tricks up her sleeve for her to end up with so much power. How is she related to Kim Kardashian you ask? Well, no connections were made public until 2019 when Taylor was named in the KKK Beauty Fragrance filings as well as Kylie Cosmetics and Kendall Jenner, Incorporated. It seems like once again Taylor managed to secure herself a high-stake and high-reward deal. And it seems like the celebs like her too, because word on the street is that Lou helped Kim secure a $70.4 million mansion along with a $48.7 million loan through a trust associated with TriStar. So what does all of this mean at the end of the day? Well, a couple of things. It means that Kim might have secured a mansion with money from Britney's conservatorship. There's also the fact that Kim's been making deposits in the slush fund which seems to hint at some sort of deal between her and Diddy. One fan also brought something interesting to everyone's attention. They wrote, and in Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy's alleged accountant is the woman connected to the sports entertainment company and Britney Spears' conservatorship. This is deep. They all need to go down. Honestly, everyone can say that again. There have been rumors about Lou Taylor going after Courtney Love and Justin Bieber as well, trying to trap them in conservatorships. Bearing that in mind, fans everywhere have been calling for Lou Taylor to be arrested alongside Diddy. One fan commented, that Lou lady seems like she is good at scamming vulnerable artists and stashing it in her church funds. I mean if Diddy ends up in handcuffs, it's only fair that his right-hand person, or woman in this case, faces the music as well. However, keep in mind that all of this is a theory and the work of one TikToker. These claims are yet to be proven, but given all that's been revealed about the industry, I think it's safe to assume there's some truth to Lou Taylor's role in some of Hollywood's shadiest dealings. Maybe authorities will look into Taylor based on the allegation from Lil Rod's lawsuit. His 70 gauge lawsuit is pretty much Pandora's box, bringing all kinds of sinister truths to light. That said, a lot of folks have hinted at a big crackdown in the industry in the coming months, so make sure to keep your ears to the ground. Knowing Hollywood, there's no telling how this situation will turn out. This judgment that is happening to Hollywood, it is getting ready to take down every superstar that ever was, from past to, to now. And that's all for today. What do you think of the situation? Are Kim and Diddy actually guilty? Will they pay for their crimes? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We will see you next time with more updates from the celebrity world.